Is the popping and clicking from the roof of your 21 Ford Bronco driving you nuts? Stick around to see what I did to fix my issue. I think. Hey, hey everybody, Tim here, Overlanding for Fun, and welcome back to the channel. And today we're in the garage with my 21 Ford Bronco, and I'm gonna talk about that god-awful popping and clicking noise that I'm hearing on the roof, which I'm sure most of you have too. Now, if you don't have your Bronco yet, and you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm gonna go ahead and drop some footage of me driving around the other night in the snow, and you can hear what I'm talking about. So I've seen some stuff going around in the socials about lubricating those pens and I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. So what I'm going to use is a product called Lubriplate 133. It is a calcium based grease. Now it, I got this off of Amazon. I didn't buy it specifically for this. It's something I've already had here in the garage for another thing. Calcium grease is used in the automotive industry, so it's, it's probably going to be safe. Uh, I'll go ahead and put a link to that down in the uh, description below if you're interested. It's not uh, an affiliate link or anything like that. Um, so what we're going to do is go ahead and pull the tops off. We're going to get those lubricated, get the tops back on, and then uh, we'll take it out. So I notice this happens more when the roof is cold. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, get the Bronco out of the garage, let it cool down for an hour or so, and then take it out for a drive. So we're just going to go ahead and just apply a thin coat of the grease on each one of these pegs. An intelligent person would have put it on the back pegs first so as to not get the grease on their shirt. All right, everybody. Well, I will let you be the judge if you think that the lubrication took care of the problem. I personally think it did. And, uh, you know, I don't know how long that's going to be. What I'll do is I'll watch it. And uh, if, you know, the problem starts to come back, I'll go ahead and uh, get an update video out. But I think it's probably safe to say if I had to lubricate these things every couple months, it's probably not that big of a deal. Uh, you saw how quick it was to pull them out and flip them over and put some uh, some grease on the pins. So let me know your thoughts. Did you uh, did you try a different kind of lubricant or something completely different? Go ahead and put those in the comment section below. And as always, I hope to see you on the trail someday soon. Tim out.